I've tested about every single AI note-taking app you can think of, and they all have two problems. The first one is this awkward bot that joins all of the meetings. It joins all of your meetings, everyone sees it and knows you're recording with AI, and sometimes you might be even judged on recording with AI. Also, most AI note-taking apps are decent at recording the transcript, but usually I struggle with getting actionable insights out of them or to integrate them into my other workflows. But I just found an AI note-taking app and personal assistant that is completely invisible. And the best thing is it's currently still free and it runs on Mac. But here's the crazy part. It doesn't just end up taking your notes, it also does the follow-up work for you. And it does this using these automated workflows and custom integrations. I'm going to show you exactly how it works, whether it's actually good, and if it's worth switching from whatever you're using right now. And I'll even give you these 10 custom prompts that you can use to make your workflow more productive. So I take anywhere from 10 to 30 meetings every single week, and I've tried about everything to make my post-meeting work easier. I've taken manual notes, but I've noticed that I lose focus while I'm typing up those notes. I've tried other note-taking tools, and even though the transcription works, I still spend about 20 or 30 minutes for important meetings with the follow-up works, such as writing the meeting minutes, sending follow-up emails, or creating action items for the next meeting. And that's really the part that nobody talks about when they say that meetings are productivity killers. I've even built custom GPT and workflows that help me with this, but I still end up copy and pasting different transcripts and remembering where I left all of my different prompts for specific use cases. So the app that I'm using now is called Radiant and it's different. So my favorite thing about it is that it captures the meetings without a bot joining and it does that by recording the meeting on your computer locally without recording it in the meeting. And it has really good AI features that make the post-meeting work super easy. And I can integrate it not only into my Slack, my Notion or my Google Calendar, but also my CRM in order to make any follow-up work super easy. As I already mentioned this is completely free because the app is still in beta phase and they're testing it out and improving it every single month. The main drawback about this app is that it is Mac only so if you're a Windows user this might be a deal breaker for you. But they're actively working on a Windows version, so you can join the waitlist if this is interesting for you as well. Since this recording is happening locally on your machine, you can use this not only with Zoom or Google Meets, but you can use this with any meeting software that you use, like Teams, Skype, WhatsApp calls, or whatever. And you can even record in-person meetings by keeping the app open. Quick disclaimer before we get started. Since there's no more bot joining the meetings, you always need to notify of anyone if you're recording a meeting. And it's not just professional and the right thing to do in general, but in some states and countries, it's even required by law. So definitely always let the other person know if you're recording something and analyzing it with AI. Now let's get to it. To get started, click on the link in the description. It brings you to the Radiant app website and here you can download it for free by clicking on this button or this button up here. Now that the tool is downloaded, simply click on that and drag it into your applications folder. I already have this installed, but simply follow the installation instructions. Now that the app is installed, you can click on it in order to open up the app. And this is what the home screen looks like. If you connect it to your calendar, you see exactly what meetings you have today. You can see the latest draft from all of your meetings that you took with this, as well as you can see them all on the left-hand side. To get the most out of this tool, you can custom create a folder by adding new folders here. And you can organize all of the meetings that you have recorded by dragging them into the folder. One of the main benefits of using an AI assistant like this that takes your meeting notes is that you can now search all of your meetings in one place. And you can simply do that by the search function here. For example, I can simply ask, in what meetings do I talk about AI? And it gives me all of the meetings where I talk about AI. You can then go to that meeting, view the transcript, as well as view the meeting summaries. But before I show you more about the AI and search feature, let me first show you how you can record a meeting. At any point when you want to capture a new meeting or a conversation or even a thought that you have on your own, you can click on the new capture button right here. Once you see this, you can see the text box in the top right corner appearing. While you're in the meeting, you can even ask follow-up questions, but I usually wait until the meeting is over to use this feature. You can also add notes during the meeting that it then records on top of the meeting transcript. If you want to use the Radiant app while it's recording a meeting, for example, if you want to look up a previous meeting, you can click on open full window and you can see in the top right corner that it's still recording. So while this is recording, you can still go through your meetings or search for different files. To stop this meeting, simply click on the stop capture button right here and it will bring you back to the recording that you have right here. In order to view the transcript, click on the transcript button. It will open your conversation and it will auto detect the speakers. In this case, it was just me demonstrating it, but if you have multiple speakers, it will detect multiple speakers. For example, in this meeting, I had multiple speakers that are auto-detected. It noticed what I said, it noticed what the other speaker said, and you can even assign them to different people. If you want to copy this meeting transcript, you can simply click on copy transcript. And before I show you the other features, let me first show you how you can capture other calls. If we have a call in our calendar and the Radiant app open, like this one, and we join it with Google Meets, then it will auto-start the note taker in the top right corner. And as we can see here in this meeting, there's no bot that joined this particular meeting. It is all done locally on your computer. And when you finish 
finish the meeting, it will auto detect that and will close the meeting and it will bring you to your meeting notes from that particular meeting. In this case, this was just an example and the meeting was too short to generate a summary, but usually it auto generates the summary right away. And since this is connected to my calendar, it's even connected to that particular event. As we can see here, it's connected to my calendar event and it works exactly the same way for Zoom. So when we start a new Zoom meeting, we also have this bot joining, but we can also disable the auto join if we want to. Now to the exciting bit, because once we've taken a meeting with Radiant and we can analyze this meeting and take follow up actions super easily. Check this out. Here's a super interesting call that I had the other day. As we already mentioned, the transcript can be reviewed on the right hand side and it can easily be copied on the right hand corner. However, I've set up some automations that I can start super easily. For example, I can schedule round two conversation, confirm a private Substack link receipt, which is a custom action item of one of the things that the person on the other end mentioned. Same with these two action items right here. And you can even review the summary super easily by clicking on the summary right here. And this is a nice comprehensive summary of a one and a half hour meetings. And I can now easily review this within just one minute or two. I can copy this down here, share it, or I can even chat with the summary or the entire transcript by clicking on this chat button. For example, I can ask to make the summary more concise. And now we have an even more concise summary that we can share. You can also speak directly to the entire transcript. So for example, we can ask, for example, we can ask how long did we talk about education in this meeting? And it does not only look at the entire transcript, but also at the timestamps. And it says we talked about 12 to 15 minutes. And I could give you countless examples of how to utilize this chat. So let me know down in the comments if you want to follow up on my specific use cases of how to use this chat. But I want to talk about another feature called shortcuts or workflows. And if you look down here in the chat box, you can see you can type forward slash for shortcuts or ask anything. If we type in forward slash, we can see all of these different shortcuts and action items. There's a few pre-selected ones that come out of the box. For example, action items or escalation emails, follow up email, scheduling a follow up email or creating a summary in a different language. And you can simply select them by clicking on that and hitting enter. It will now quickly discuss all of the action items discussed on this call and even select who's responsible for what. I can copy this over to an email or I can store it directly in my project management tools such as Notion or Google Docs. And I can click on copy and open in Notion. And you can see your action items right here that you can then assign to a project. Let me share with you three more useful shortcuts and then I will share with you how you can get your own shortcuts and what shortcuts I've implemented and give you access to my prompts. For the next one, a super useful shortcut that I run on every single meeting is the follow-up email. And as you can see here, and I've selected this to always suggest. So you can either type in follow up email or I simply select start on the pre selected workflow for this event. Click on start and I drafted a concise and helpful email that I can share with the person that I talked with. It has the key decisions, the open items, as well as next steps. And you can either once again copy this into your email client or you can simply click on continue in Gmail and it opens the email for me. All I need is to type the email and it has the entire email formatted in Gmail and I just have to hit send. Alternatively, if you want to shorten this email or make it longer. For example, make the email longer to capture everything we talked about and include the meeting notes from this meeting. And it now will include the meeting recap, more information about the decisions, the next steps, and the key takeaway. And I can now send this easily right here. The last super fun feature that I like is the meeting stats. This one analyzes the meeting transcript to generate the participants statistic. So it, it shows you who spoke the most, and this can be helpful in all sorts of situations. Here we can see the overall meeting details, who spoke the most, with what words, the frequency, the time distribution, and the topics discussed as well as the topic duration breakdown and the key insights and the summary of the data. This can be super helpful, for example, if you have a daily standup and you cap it to 10 minutes and you may want to make sure you get through all of your topics and you can run this analysis on all of your daily standups in order to see if you need to allocate more time to specific people or to specific topics. Here's where this app gets crazy powerful. You can create your own custom shortcuts and your own custom workflows that either run for every single meeting or you can just call the shortcut for specific meetings when you think it's helpful. To do that, let's use the same example meeting. Over here by typing forward, slash, we can see the create shortcut option. Once you click on that, you can give a command and the prompt, and you can set if you want this automation to always suggest start automatically, which means that it runs for every single meeting once you're done with the meeting. Always suggest means that it is in this right hand category and you can simply click start. And if you select none, it just simply runs whenever you call that specific function. And here are my top 10 radiant shortcuts that you can use for yourself. Link is in the description. You can download this for free and implement it right now. As we can see here, I have these 10 different shortcuts that help me with everything, anything from content creator recap to podcast prep to the research list, a more concise executive summary, a decision tracker, a next meeting builder, quick wins, blockers, and strategic insights. In order to use this, simply go over to your shortcut creator 
and paste this in here. I'm gonna click on auto suggest and I'm gonna save this. Now we can call this function by simply saying strategic insights and hitting run. This now goes through the entire meeting summary and it now looks for opportunities identified, the competitive intelligence, strategic risks, insight realizations, for example, in an aha moment and summary recommendations. This is mega powerful and I love using this. Since this was a great meeting, I'm gonna start a new shortcut and this is this scheduling the round two of the conversation. I hit start and it's now suggesting a specific time that I can pre select. For example, if I want this to be at 9 p.m., I simply put that in there. I'm the organizer and I can now continue in my Google Calendar. I can simply save this event right here and invite the other guest that was part of this meeting. And I simply hit save. And this is now in our calendar. This tool is super powerful, yet it's also super simple to use. I love that you can customize your own actions because oftentimes after meeting, I usually do the same things. I end up, I send up a follow-up email, draft the notes, add this to my database and want to get key insight from these meetings. And with custom shortcuts, this is now easier to do than ever. And the cool thing is, this app is still in beta and completely free to use. So I've been using them for the last three months and they continue to improve the product and add more features that make this more useful for me. Feel free to use my custom prompt pack down below in the description and let me know down in the comments which feature is your favorite to use. And remember to always let people know that you're recording the call. If you've made it until here, thank you so much for watching. Consider leaving a like and commenting below. And if you want to see more productivity videos, subscribe because I'm working on another video that's similar to this that helps you turbocharge your productivity. If you want to turbocharge your meeting productivity, Click this video next and I'll see you in the next one.